Welcome back to the shop. Today is going to be a little bit uh, of a reactionary video. I just saw a wonderful episode on Scoutcrafter's channel about about these old Ward style screwdrivers. And, and one of my first tool rest, restoration videos, uh, or I, one of my more recent projects that I had done, I'd done off camera was this little screwdriver that, that I'd found. And it was just, just completely beat to crap and, and uh, honestly it was like hard to tell what it was when I found it because it was so rough. So I tinkered around with it and, and, and I use it. It's great. It's been real handy. And then I found another one that was even rougher and then this one I took the time to video and uh, and it's it looks a little rough now. I mean the handle because I use it all the time. Uh, I use all these tools all the time. But but I've been just so happy with these uh, that I you know, I've actively been seeking them out. My brother just this morning picked up three more. And and whenever I see them, I can't. I sort of got a little bit of a problem. I mean, how many flatheads do you need? But, you know, they're just so well made. And uh, and Scott Crafter did a wonderful uh, background on these. All the different uh, the little things that I would have never thought to think about. You know, you could use the back of this as a as some sort of a pounding implement. And this, you know, that the, you know that's what makes this channel really great. There's just, just a wealth of knowledge here. But anyway... It was very neat, and, and the, the perfect screwdriver that he had, um, oh, and I'll just show this one because I really like it. This was, uh, somebody, uh, this is on like old school business marketing. They made this screwdriver all metal. This is really neat. Boy, these are easy to restore compared to these. But anyway, he had the Irwin Perfect Screwdriver, and I've had this laying in my, I found this somewhere, and it just was so well built compared to all the other junkers that I have. Um, I mean, I have... I have any number of of shitty screwdrivers. I mean, a large number of them, and these are just just horrible, just garbage. I mean, there's a place for shit tools. Don't get me wrong. I just have too much space for them, <laughs> and too many of them. But anyway, I mean, there's it's you know it's a good tool. It's got a functional end on it and all that stuff. But I mean, it's, it's junk. But I saw this one and I said, Jesus. This is really well made. I don't know who makes it. I don't know anything about it, but you could just pick it up and feel it. And you know, the the video that I saw from Scoutcrafter today, that it sort of has inspired me to, to dig this thing out of the drawer, and I'm going to try to do a, a, a thorough but 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 quick restoration, um, in the interest of just getting work done. Um, I'd like to figure out what this is, what the handle says. It's been, I I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to bring this back or not, but we will find out. And I'm gonna have a before and an after. And uh, anyway, it's not it's not quite it's not near the quality that 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 Scott Crafter had with his Irwin. But again, broad tip. It's got this square on it so that you could lock onto it with a set of pliers. Come over and really get on this thing if you need to. Uh, it doesn't have the full tang all the way through the back, so it's not like you could use some sort of a percussive or concussive kind of wrap on it to break the bolt loose so 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 it's it's weak in that sense but uh but I do like the square because you know you can really really lean down on something and uh and reef on it if you want so so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring this over to the sandblaster and try to focus my attention south of the handle and then wire wheel and then I'm going to come back in and try to clean this handle up as best I can with some very fine sandpaper and uh we'll see how this goes
right, so there's a little choppiness of the parts of this video because I had this thing ass backwards. When I thought I was turning it on, I was turning it off. Anyway, so so anyway, it sort of screwed things up. So I'm trying to make this make more sense. But anyway, I finished cleaning this up. You saw some of the some of the other video of that, but but I wanted to get a better close up on it. I I didn't didn't do a great job getting a, a before picture of this. But anyway, this has come out very nicely, I think. Uh, I didn't do anything to it other than just wire wheel it. The polishing it, the, the striations and everything on here. Um, the finish from this, uh, from the factory, was very well done. This is a quality tool. And I, and so I, I didn't see any reason to try to improve on it because, you know, I really wasn't going to. This was this is well built. But the, the acetate handle has cleaned up pretty good. I can see right down in there all the way now. Um, this is a... It says 100 plus Stanley, uh, so it's it's pretty pretty. I mean, that estate handles have have um, their own issues. Some of the newer ones, they actually develop a, a smell. And if you watch AVE, he'll talk about the I think brominated compounds or so. I forget what the term is. Uh, it's the same stuff that makes your puke smell. <laughs> it's uh, anyway. Go go watch AVE's channel. Uh, he talks about it from time to time, but anyway, this was this has turned out pretty good. Again, this is this is not really a how-to video. It was just a, just sort of a inspirational thing. I uh, like I said, inspired by Scout Crafter's awesome video. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna put this back in the toolbox and put it to work. And uh, thanks for watching. And if you like this kind of stuff, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Please comment, like, dislike, whatever. But uh, just. Feedback is always appreciated. Thanks. Have a good night.